Hi guys, I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about um, fertilizing containers. I know a lot of people just put potting soil in there and grow peppers and some tomato plants and this and that. Uh, this is a small container but what I do is I start uh, with a plant, I start them out in a four inch pot and when you can see how big they are when I get that big I'll transfer them into this pot and I fertilize this pot I'm going to show you how I fertilize this and after it gets about this big I'm going to transfer it into another pot that's about this big and that's how I grow my tomatoes in the pots <clears throat> but in order for me to get them good size I fertilize this pot quite a bit uh, I live in northern Wisconsin and I only have about three months to actually get a good sized tomato plant so I can get the tomatoes off it. So I need to have good sized uh, plants. So if you can see this, I already put fertilizer in there and I'm about four inches up right here from the top. And my fertilizer, I already got it mixed up here. It's um, fish meal, bone meal, and kelp. And it's 10% uh, fish meal, 10% bone meal, and 5% kelp. And kelp has got a lot of minerals in it. I think there's about 80 macro and micro nutri uh, nutrient, nutrients in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this plant. Break it up. Come on. Okay, set it down. Like I said, the uh, uh, soil is about right here. What I usually do is I mix potting mix half and half. Half with compost, half with uh, potting mix. So now I'm going to spread this, put this around. And I'm firming it up here. Put a little bit more. What I'm putting is a potting mix, even with the top uh, of this here when I took it out of the plant out. So now potting mix is about right here. So I take a handful of, or a half a handful of fertilizer and I sprinkle it around again. Um, I'm within an inch to two inch away from the stock here. I don't want the fertilizer to get right up to it. So I got it on the outside of the plant all the way around like I said about two inches away from the stem. And then forgot that I water it. It may seem like a lot of fertilizer but tomato plants <laughs> they'll eat everything you can give them. Put the rest of this mix in. So I've got actually about three layers of um, fertilizer. Put another layer in here. Sprinkle it all the way around. There, I got a generous handful. I'm going to water this down again. And fill this up again. Alright, so I firm this down right around the plant. And then what I do is I put one more half a handful right around the outside here, all the way around, and again a couple inches away. So then I'm about right here. I'll let this settle down a little bit. And when it starts growing, uh, oh, when it gets up to about right here, uh, 
I'll fill this in. I got about three more inches to go to get to the top. And then I'll fill it in again. I'll water this down, fill it in again, and put some more fertilizer on the top. And in about a month, month and a half, I'll, uh, it's the 15th today, so probably six weeks, about the 1st of June, I'll transfer this into a big pot. But by this time, this uh, plant is going to be about two, two and a half feet tall. So this gets a good start and I get healthy tall tomato plants and a lot of tomatoes on them. I'll do a video later on and show you how big these are. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you on the next video.